Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're talking movies, music, and more. Make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video. I have a couple channel announcements. But with all that said, let's get into the video. So Maleficent 2, Mistress of Evil, is a sequel to a reboot slash reimagining slash retell retelling uh, a different point of view slash reboot i don't know what it is uh but it's a sequel to uh maleficent um angelina jolie plays our main character and uh yeah i did enjoy the first one a good bit there i do have problems with it and it's not the best disney live action remake um i think jungle book is but it's still, I, I enjoy Maleficent to a certain point, so I was kind of excited to see Maleficent 2. And here are my thoughts on the film. Now starting off with the good, I think that it does, the acting is really good. Uh, the cast is pretty awesome. Um, Angelina Jolie is, is wonderful as Maleficent. I think this is one of her best roles. I think she plays Maleficent very well. I think she could have gotten a little bit more dialogue, but we'll get into that later. And, uh, the real, like, the, the part that I really love is Michelle Pfeiffer. I think she was, um, fantastic at playing this, this evil character that you're just not supposed to like. Like, you, you just, you're not supposed to like her whatsoever. And I think she does a great job at that. And so, there's a lot of tension between the characters. Um, I'm not gonna really spoil in this, uh, spoil anything. Um, but... There's a scene where they're having dinner, and it actually does provide a good bit of ten tension. It's uh, very interesting, and I think that's where the acting is at its finest. So this is a big plus for me. I did enjoy the a uh, acting in Maleficent 2, Mistress of Evil. Another positive mo about this movie is um, the action. Uh, yeah, uh, it, uh, it has a lot of action in it. Um, if you're not counting Marvel movies, and um, I think this could have the highest kill count in any Disney film. Like, I'm sorry about the spoiler there, but a lot of people die in this movie. Um, yeah, a lot of people die in this. Uh, but the action is actually really cool. It's very... It's very, it's, it's done actually very well to a certain point where it actually, at times feels really epic, actually. Um, I think it's done a lot better than Maleficent 1. And, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the action. It was always entertaining. Um, so, yeah, I really did like the action, and that's a big plus for me. But the biggest plus, the best thing that I think was in this movie was how pretty and how visually um, appealing it was. It wasn't like live at, uh, like Lion King where they were just trying to go for completely real, but it felt so, so, it, it was like a place you wanted to explore. All these different settings were very interesting. All of them you kind of wanted to go to. And so I thought that was a big plus with this movie. Just beautiful movie. Um, the colors, the way they, they, there's, the way they use color in this film is fantastic. I think it, it, the world building is really good in it. So it's a movie where you just, if there's nothing good about it, at least you can be in awe of the visuals and the beautiful world that the movie is taking place in. And I think that's a big plus. I think that is one of the biggest, um, just the biggest praises that this movie could have gotten is that um, a very pretty film, a film that you will want to see in 4K um, or on the big screen. That's a so if like if you're a Disney fan, you definitely want to see this on the big screen because it looks fantastic. Um, the use of color, like I said, is fantastic. So this is a big plus. This is like this is my biggest praise for the film. So definitely check it out if you want to see something a very pretty, very unique style of um of visuals. Now for the mix, sadly, I have to say that the cinematography or the um the way the movie is shot is mixed for me. Um, now the beginning of the movie, I was actually in awe, um, of the, the cinematography. There's some really interesting shots inside of it. I was like, wow, this is pretty cool to see in a Disney live action remake. Uh, it looked really cool and I was hoping they continue with that. But as that went on, you could see that flair that they had at the beginning kind of went away and it felt a little bit more stale. But at the beginning, I mean, just, I praise the visuals. I'm just, sorry, not the visuals, the way it's shot. I would really want to put this on my good, but as it goes on, it just doesn't feel bad, but it just feels bland. It doesn't feel like 
it, it, it doesn't feel like it's being shot in a new way that you've never seen before. But at the beginning, there's actually some great shots, um, some striking visuals. Um, and I thought at the beginning, cinema cinematography was good, but as it went on, was not as good. But still, um, just a mixed bag for me. Uh, the beginning's great, but at the end, not really. Now with all of that out of the way, let's get into the bad and big negatives for me in this movie. Uh, so they set it up like it's going to be a really awesome movie, um, really uh, interesting film, but then they make some decisions that personally I just didn't like. The way they went with it was not really enjoyable for me. I think uh, as the second, the first act was really good, second act was mixed, or uh, the second act, the second act was pretty bad, and then as the third act was mixed, because the ending is awesome, but the most of the third act and the second act is not very good. I think the decision they make with it is not very good. And so that was a that was a big negative for me. Another negative and this is another big one is that Maleficent doesn't get enough screen time. I mean, she's not on it very often. No, Michelle Pfeiffer is awesome in this movie, but I think they should have focused more of our on our character and her journey. Um, and I don't think they really showed that off very well. I think Angelina had a lot of skill as Maleficent, and I don't think they showed it off very well. I think they could have used her a lot more, and I think she's a big asset considering she's the main character. Like, why didn't you show her off more? She's one of the stars of this. You want to see Maleficent. This is her movie. But it doesn't really feel like her movie. Honestly, it feels like a different Sleeping Beauty movie. Um, so that was... I wanted to see more Maleficent. Uh, maybe that's just with me. But I thought that they uh, underutilized her. As we move on, I think that the side characters also were not developed really well. Uh, I'm a big nitpicky... Nitpick, nitpicker. When it comes to um, side characters, some I really enjoy seeing on screen, and if they do it right, then it's perfectly done, and I really enjoy it. I mean, but they didn't do the, the side character, the side characters very well. Uh, I think they really underdeveloped them sometimes. Mostly, I usually think that they don't develop them enough, but in this, they just underdeveloped them. They're undercooked. You didn't really care about them enough. It felt like you knew these characters for longer than you did. And so that was a big problem. I was thinking, like, was there another Maleficent movie before this that had these characters in it? But there wasn't. So I think they were really underdeveloped. I think they could have been cooler characters, but they weren't. So um, overall, my consensus on this film is it's flawed but fun. Um, the action is really good in it. Um, the characters are good. Uh, I think there's a lot of tension in it. Um, so good parts, but also a lot of... Uh, pretty bad parts um, in it. So, if you like Disney movies, then you might want to check it out. If you like the first one, check it out. Um, I would say maybe if it's like just a random day and you just you don't know what to watch, just rent it at Redbox or something. But I give this movie a C. So yeah, that's what my thoughts of Maleficent are. Let me know what yours got you guys are. Your guys. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments, and uh, let's get to those um, channel updates. Now, I never posted my official review review for Gemini Man. Uh, I shot it, but it was too late at, the, at one point because I kept forgetting to edit it. Oops. Um, so I didn't really get to get it out. I didn't uh, produce it or get it into YouTube as quick as I wanted to. But overall, if you did watch my earlier review, I didn't like it. Uh, I gave it a D. It's one of my least favorite films that I've seen this year. The script was awful. Uh, one of the worst scripts this year. Um, so yeah, Gemini Man, no. I just wanted to let you guys know that I am getting into anime a little bit. Uh, I've never really had an experience with it before, but I'm watching Full Metal Alchemist. I'm hoping to watch a couple other things. So I'm really excited about this. I know a lot of people love anime. I've gotten recommendations from everyone to watch it. And so I'm kind of starting to dive into it, trying to just sneak my way into the world of anime and watch some different things. So that is something that I've been doing recently. So maybe you'll see some more anime reviews. I don't know. And one final thing. Actually, also, uh, my Star Wars series is going to be coming up soon. I'm going to be reviewing Star Wars movies, ranking Star Wars movies, doing a bunch of that stuff, considering uh, 
uh, what's it called, the Rise of Skywalker is coming out soon, so that's going to be a lot of fun, so soon you should be seeing a New Hope review, and then we'll go all the way down to The Last Jedi, and then we'll rank them all and do that stuff, but uh, I am actually going to be starting a new series, it's going to be um, a throwback, or a throwback series where I talk about older movies, because I love a lot of older movies, and I don't get the chance to review them too much on my channel, so I'm going to be reviewing retro films, um, throwbacks, so that's just those, those are the updates that I just wanted to tell you, thank you so much for watching guys, um, make sure to hit the bell, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, thank you guys so much for watching, bye now.